Hey guys, this is Peach Boy Welcome back to another episode of Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. In the last episode, we started this game off, and we got through like most of these cards. So, it's up to do this. Oh, hey Al, are all those bad guys history yet? Just the ones in the cars we cleared out, I guess. The major is taking care of the cars in the back. So all we have left are cars. The few cars up front. If I jerkers have a leader, then it's gotta be in front. Let's be careful, Al. About their leader. Did you notice how some of the bad guys were wearing were in military garb? Yeah, that bothered me. But then again, criminals in the military are hardly a rarity. Anyway, we'll just have to beat him up. We'll just have to beat up the leader, and we'll put him through the ringer. Let's go, Al. Oh crap! I wanted to get that treasure chest. You know, I haven't played this in a while, so I may be a little bit, um, I may not play that well, so let's hope that I do. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5, which I finished. What the? Who the- are you guys? Ooh, that's menacing. Are you supposed to be some kind of bad guy? Never mind that, Ed, his uniform. Yeah, just like we thought. Our guy here is a military man, an MP at that. Military policemen are supposed to be elite, so why is this guy? Hey, hey, stop talking about me like I'm not here! You bright, don't you think you can get out, don't think that you can get out here alive? Doing with these goons is like, is becoming a real hassle. And it's time to make th things hassle free. You aren't dealing with, you aren't dealing with amateurs anymore, so watch out, Al. Al. <laughs> Don't forget to hold back, Ed. Okay, let's do this. I'll ha I'll handle this guy. Aw, oh, come on. I wish there was a lock-on button. Come on, take us. Alchemy. Aw, oh, come on, Al. Good blood. Wait, you could have made that last. Here we go. Um... How do I forget? I forgot how to use this. Oh. There you go. And. Take that. Oh, crap. Oh, what the heck? What do you think you're doing? Take that. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Take that. Uh huh. Yeah, this guy's. This guy is worthless now. There we go. Ah, crap. Alchemist rank B. I did good, though. Dark! You! How could I lose to a kid? Has the world gone utterly mad? Yes, it has. Now you better start explaining why a military policeman like he was hijacking the strain, excuse me. You aren't here to just rob everyone, are you? You're... Who are you guys? Hey, 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 we're the ones asking the questions here, bub. No, no, don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything. I was just running away. Running away? From who? From other military policemen. I was framed for a crime, so I had no uh, choice but to flee. If it was a false charge, why don't you just protest? You shouldn't have had to run. If the world was that simple, I wouldn't be in so much trouble. It's a conspiracy. We would have all been on the run if it weren't for weren't all of us. Hmm? All of us? That's right. Except for the few we picked up on the way. We're all ex-military alchemists. So you're trying to tell me that you all wa are wanted for a crime that you collectively didn't commit? Yes, well, some of that may be... Some of them may be really criminals, but not me. I'm innocent, I swear. And this is coming from a guy that hijacked our train? Yeah, congrats. You're on a five criminal now. Good job. I didn't mean to catch such a scene. I wanted to, I wanted to be much more covert. All we wanted to do was get to highest guard. Well, I forgot. I don't know what to say. He is Gart. I'm not lying. Is it he is Gart? 
For what for? Boy one who was on our side was Colonel Gaines Breslau, and he was the one who told us to take shelter at Heathgart because the sh town was establishing an army of alchemists. Only way for wanted men like us to get to Heathgart was by borrowing a train. I was going to wait out in Heathgart until the dust settled, and then prove my innocence. Huh? Alright, I'm getting used to you now. But an autonomy? A self-government by alchemists? I've never heard such a thing. Jeez. <sighs> That'd be totally irresponsible, putting a rabid dingo in charge of a chicken farm. But the leader's supposed to be a great state alchemist, one of the famed ten alchemists. Professor Wilhelm Eiselstein. Wilhelm. What? Professor Eiselstein? Where he's calling on alchemists from all over the country. That's all I know. Hit, what does this mean? I don't have a clue. I wonder if that's the same Professor Eiselstein that we know. Calling on alchemist. Why would he do that? Run, run away! Hey, Ed, he's getting away! What? Hey, get your butt back here! Okay. So, let's go catch him, Al. Fawns, let's do this. Weenie. I probably shouldn't have saved that, since I'm in the middle of a recording session, but whatever. Let's do this. That lips. Hey, how you doing? Smoke weed every day. Okay, pal, who are you? Wait, that uniform and badge. A military policeman, a senior colonel. Hey, mister, you wouldn't be having to name Gynes, would you? <laughs> and what if I am, kiddo? Ed, you don't think. Is this him? Yeah, Al. Looks like the mo mo Mohawk Psycho is a head honcho. So, what's your reason for deceiving your subordinates and leading them to Heathgard? Real smart, punk, aren't you? But you ain't gonna know nothing else, cause you're gonna die right here. And yes, I am Kern Spresslow. The armor, the armor-piercing alchemist, and the strongest of the military. Eep, but I've never heard of you. And it is who says that you're the strongest in the military anyway? Your mom doesn't count, you know. Oh. I've been taking care of my incompetence and boredom. Now you guys are the only ones with problems left. Nothing personal, mind you. Got in our way? And now you got no one to blame but yourselves. I right, figured it'd come to this. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta transmute it. Wait, you guys can't be. You're not Edward Elric, the full male alchemist stoke acid that backwards are you? Gosh, Ed, you're a celebrity. What's it to you? Do you want me to sign your forehead or something? Woohoo, how I've longed to beat you, full metal alchemist. Well then, it's either you or me. Your right arm or my left arm. Let's really see who should be called full metal. Come on here, shorty. Uh oh. Who? Who are you calling microscopic, huh? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. No problem. Just, just knock it off. Okay. Alphonse, you handle this. Aw, oh, crap. Why am I doing so bad at moving the camera? Aw, oh, crap, I can't see him. Well, I can see him, but it's just a shadow. Oh, what the heck? Aw, oh, come on, stop it. Bro. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Camera reset. Camera, um, changing the camera has never been a problem for me, I guess, until now. Okay, so what do we have here? 
Alphonse use this? Alphonse, now throw bombs at him. Oh yeah, how you feel? Oh come on. Haha, <laughs> how you feel? Stop it. Oh come on. <sighs> You're serious. When I have to use one of my elixirs. Alphonse is doing fine on the other hand. Take that? Ah, oh, come on. Stop it! Take it! Boy! Stop doing so well. No, Alphonse, take the... Take the freaking... No, take it! Alcon Alphonse, gosh. Now throw a bomb at him. Good man. I'm not sure. Um, I think it may be in room. Oh. Okay, my sister came in. Rank C. Crap. That was a bad one. No way. I can't lose. Looks like you're beginning to understand that I'm way out of your league. <laughs> Strongest in the military? I think the flame alchemist is stronger. This guy's just had it easy all his life, you know? No real challenges. Like hell, you say! Well, you want more? <laughs> Come on, Ed. You know it's not cool picking on a weakling. Uh, weakling? You brass! You haven't won yet! I'll show you! I'll get you for this! Such classic bad guy lines. Yeah, well, you'd better remember, because my memory stinks. It sure does. I'll see you later, snotty shorty. Shorty? Who are you calling a snotty And here's the train crash. That must have hurt. I wonder where they landed. I like to save my game. Just kidding. Okay. On to the Reminus Gorge. Okay. Let's go. Whoa. That train is on fire, baby. Whoa, would you just look at that? Ed, why must you always take things one step too far? So, uh, what should we do now? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, hey, it's the Major. Hi. Hmm, I see. So another suspect was the master hind behind the hijack. He's a colonel in the military police, named Breslau. His left arm was an automail, just like Ed's. It sounds like he's been rounding up military alchemists to take on Heaskart. To take the Heaskart. Breslau did, did way with his number two man. Then he did manage just to turn the way of the blah. To what deplorable lacks for a military man. We shall expedite a warrant for this Breslau. But in the meantime, what to do with this devastation? You mean Ed in test Oh uh, gosh. What? Al? Shh, shut up! Quite the chore this cleanup is going to be, even with the use of alchemy. Tisk, Breslau could not be forgiven. You roll in such an or. A train in order to make stuff to escape is beyond evil. Yeah, haha, no kidding. Ed, aren't you going to correct him? Are you kidding? He doesn't happen to know. 
You better not say anything stupid either. I don't believe this. So, um, Major, what should we do now? We don't have a choice. We have to go to Central, even if we need to walk. There's no time to waste. We're pretty close to Heaskart. Maybe we can catch a train to, from there to Central. Wait one minute there, lads. We cannot leave this site as it is. There is much to be done here. I must report to HQ. Round up the suspects, help the passengers. Well then, I guess that means that we have to say goodbye, Major. We'll be... Okay, we'll be on our way, toodles. What? No, absolutely not. As your escort, I must keep you in salt sight at all times. Come on, Major. We don't need an escort after coming this far. We're deep in the mountains. There's nothing dangerous out here, apart from ornery looking shrubs. Yeah, we'll be okay. I said no, that's fine, I'll just keep quiet and help me with the recovery esque effort. What, you've gotta be kidding me. Ed, what do we do now? What do you think? We don't have a choice. Oh boy, sometimes I wonder if it's a bad influence on me. I'm out of here. Deuces. I'm sorry, Major. What the? Stop. Wait, get back here. In this instant, Edward Elric. Pfft, I should have known. I must notify HQ immediately and join those two post haste. Okay. You do that, and I'll just keep moving on. Now we're in the North Trestle. Dodgerel, 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 dodgerel. Okay, up. Go ladder. We go. I wonder what's on. I wonder what's on the uh, top of this ladder. Let's find out. Jump in. Hey. Do you really think it was okay for us to run away like that? Hey, the old man isn't chasing after us, is he? We're fine. Now, come on, keep running. But aren't you sure we headed in the right direction? Well, we've been on this single track from now on, so, uh, yeah. Ignorance is bliss. You know, I never thought we'd end up going to Heathcart again. Me neither. The last time we went, we were still with our master, so it's really been a long time. Oh my god, there's so much text in, text in this game. <sighs> okay. Bless you, Dana. Okay, so we're going to see Billy. You tell me. Aren't you forgetting something? The professor is friends with our master. Someone like a professor would be able to tell us what we did the second we saw us. You ready to do this, Al? Mm-hmm. Oh, a bite. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean now? The professor could be able to tell. He could tell that we attempted human transmutation. Imagine the professor would just have a master about it. If that would happen, our master. She. She'd kill us! Got it, Al? Once we head to town, we're making a beeline straight for the station. Yeah, it's probably a better idea. But you know what bugs me? What a train hijacker said, an alchemist self-government. The professor is really the one calling on alchemists. What's he trying to do? You're asking the wrong guy. So what's the professor studying? Um, catalyst, like, I don't know what it is, catalyst, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, Selene. So 
Selene was a real genius like you, Ed. Hmm, so what? The girl didn't have a heart. I'm surprised you can hold a grudge over something so small. Small? It ain't small to me. Okay, okay. At any rate, the professor doesn't concern us, and neither does he, Scar. We need to get ourselves to Central, and fast. Right you are. Oh my god. All of this text. Ed and I can join hands to deliver a powerful special tech. And you have stocks? Lot you're supposed to, um, hold the circle button? And you have a stock ready? Here, I'll demonstrate. Alphonse. Okay, Alphonse, here we go. And it's to it's a total also totally awesome animation. I swear. And you. You're gonna have to Aw oh, crap. No. Nope. You're gonna have to die. Okay. So anyone else on route? I guess not, so it's time to climb down the ladder. Whoosh. Okay. So I think that that's going to be enough for one episode, although I barely even got to say any things of my own since there's so much freaking text in this game. I wonder what I'm going to have to do with that. So this has been Peace World One, and I will see you guys next time. Ah, uh, <laughs> reading all of that just it takes my breath away. Um, see you guys next time. Deuces. Yes, hey!